welcome to the lair of the Roman Torchwick. Now, first I would like to express that I'm a very busy man with many important things to do, so the time I take for our little rendezvous here should be appreciated as such. So, in the spirit of saving time, let us get to our questions. Anonymous sent me a message saying, Oh ho ho, doth my eyes deceive me? A handsome red-haired man with a cane... Well, I would say your eyes are most certainly not deceiving you, as I am sitting before you, and who can fool themselves by saying I'm not a handsome man with a cane? Do you ever take advantage of the fact that Neo is so much shorter than you and lean on her? From Anonymous. Well, though Neo is quite short in stature, she makes up for it with might. And I would not wish to fall on the wrong side of that, if you understand what I'm saying. And if I were to lean on her, as you ask, I am most certain I would fall. And have a very difficult time getting back up. Anonymous says, you're a beautiful man. Well... First beautiful, then handsome. I can't say I uh, regret the flattery I am receiving, though I can't say you will benefit much from flattery. It is appreciated nonetheless. Alas, a question that is not anonymous. Room Between the Worlds says, Neo was spinning your hat on the end of Melodic Kujal. You weren't worried there could have been a misfire? Well, first of all, I was not in a position to notice whether or not Neo was doing anything dangerous with my weapon. But, Neo is a very capable young lady, and she is one of the only people who I would trust with my weapon, so, no, I wasn't worried she would cause any damage through a mis misfire with my cane. Nonetheless, if she were to have caused a misfire, then we were in a ship that didn't belong to me, so what harm could come of it? I so curious 38 asks, "Hey Torchwick, why have a jack-o'-lantern face as your emblem? Looks cool either way." Well, there are many reasons why a villain such as myself would choose an emblem such as that. First that comes to mind would be the mere fact that in the back of everyone's mind, a jack-o'-lantern's face inspires a certain level of fear and caution. That is what I wish to inspire with my emblem, thus I represent myself as such. So, long story short, people are mildly scared of it, and I don't want them to be terrified of me, but mildly scared is much to my benefit. B.V. Brides Maiduck, I hope I pronounced that correctly, says, You have to tell the truth here. What is your real relationship with Neo, and what was going through your head when the little pest sent her to her doom? Well, first things first, I never have to tell the truth. The truth is what I choose to give. Nonetheless, Neo and I have been partners for quite some time. We work well together, we fight well together. And, on many occasions, we have defended one another. Past that, there's no reason to complicate the public perception of my partner and I's relationship. So, that is as much as you're going to get. And lastly, we have Anonymous again, asking, Say, Rowan, how did you get Melodic Kujal? Did you make it? Did someone make it for you? Did you steal it off some sucker? Well, I see no reason why it matters how I came to possess my weapon. The important thing is, it is mine. I know how to use it very well. And it comes to benefit me that you don't know where it came from. Thus, you cannot get one of your own. 
And it appears this ends today's session of Ask the Roman Torchwick. I hope you enjoyed your time in my lair and this little glimpse into the wonderful, wonderful life of me. Feel free to send more asks in the future and I will be happy to oblige you again with another session here in Torchwick's Lair. Waking up to ash and dust I wipe my 